Um, Alan So Stan said, I don't understand why people make excuses for a fighter who clearly doesn't want to take risks and fight the best. He has no shame in calling out top boxers, but won't step in the ring with them. Alan So Stan out there frying him. Knockout Boxing 86 TV. What up, man? All right, what's happening with you for now? How you doing this morning? Man, I can't complain. Blessed and highly favored. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, man. So I heard a couple of the callers, and it was a couple of things I wanted to to, to just cook on if I could real quick. So, yeah, man, take your time, man. I heard a gentleman say that just because we haven't seen Shakur cut off the ring doesn't mean that he can't do it. And you hear this a lot with boxing fans. Just because you haven't seen him do it doesn't mean he can't do it. The issue with that statement is that We've seen Shakur try to do it, and he tried to do it against Artem, and he did it unsuccessfully. So you can't say – you can't use that in this instance because we've seen him working to try to get a stoppage on the front foot, trying to cut the ring off against Artem. He was unsuccessful to cut off the ring and corner Artem and put him where he wanted to put him in order to get the stoppage. So that's the point for that gentleman that called in and said that. And then also this idea that he may not need to cut off the ring against Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is very versatile as a boxer. He could see that Shakur Stevenson's footwork on the front foot is sloppy. I lied to Fimo Lopez and say, you know what? I'm just going to box off my back foot since your footwork moving forward is sloppy and you can't cut the ring off and I'm going to try to move around and walk you in the shots. So this idea that Javante Davis can't switch it up and fight going backwards and also fight going forward, you never know what Shakur Stevenson will need against Javante Tank Davis because Javante Tank Davis can do everything in the ring. So let's kill that point. Let's stop saying that because that makes no sense. Then there was another gentleman that came on here, and he said that um, Shakur may be doing this just to build his name, just to take a bunch, take an easy fight to uh, get to, to get wins and look good in the ring. Well, then stop telling me that he's pound for pound. Stop telling me. Stop telling me that he's the next one. Stop telling me that he's that he's the best. He's the guy that's going to challenge the likes of Javante Tank Davis, or he's next in line behind Terence Crawford. Because you know who moves like that? Abdullah Mason's moving like that right now. Keyshawn Davis is moving like that right now. Kermel Moten is moving like that right now. We don't expect for a three-division unified champion to still be put in situations and put in fights where he's put in there to look good, where they're trying to manufacture a knockout, where he's fighting a guy coming up in weight who just got knocked out by a guy who had a 33% knockout percentage before he stepped in the ring with him. We're not trying to see that. And me not trying to see that has absolutely positively nothing with Javante Tank Davis. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have it both ways. Use whatever saying that you want to use but you can't have it both ways bro because if he's who you say he is then we, we shouldn't still be seeing him in fights to to make him look good we expect that from prospects we expect that from contenders low level contenders i should say maybe guys that are that are just outside of getting the title shot we do not expect that from somebody who is supposed to be shakur stevenson so let's kill that point as well then this let's put the onus on tank davis um for not for not making the fight. It's always Tank Davis's fault. Look, bro, Shakur Stevenson is the one whose actions don't match their words. My, my mother taught me that when you say something, you got to do it or you're dishonest and you're a liar. So if you say you want the biggest and best fights, if you're saying that you're signing with a promoter that's going to get you the biggest and best fights, and then you go sign with a promoter that has, number one, a history of not getting people the biggest and best fights. You talked on it, so I'm not going to repeat your talking points, but think of the likes, like you said, a Devin Haney, a Demetrius Andrade. I'll leave it at that. Y'all do with that what you will. Go look at the big fights he got for them. Then, that same promoter, if we're just looking at the lay of the land, you literally put a barrier between you and all the big fights that we want to see between you and other fighters at 135 and 140 pounds. Take Tank Davis out of it, bro. Lomachenko, Dennis Berenchek, unifications fight. Who they fight for? Top rank. Why would you go sign to a, to a company that don't have them? You're putting a barrier between the fight. Eddie Hearn and Turkey Alashik are going to have to go to other promoters to get you big fights. When you were a free agent and you could have just went to those other promoters. Watch of course, Stevenson fans don't understand this, bro. You say you want Tank Davis, Tiafimo Lopez. Tank Davis is over on PBC. Tiafimo Lopez is a top-ranked fighter. You sign to a promoter that has to try to pay people to fight you from other promotional companies. In the, you only got one fight, right, with Cordina. Then by the time you're in the second fight of your deal with Eddie Hearn, he already got to try to go get Golden Boy to feed you to pay them. They're already, they're out of fighters for you in one fight. <laughs> they're, they're already out of fighters for you in one freaking fight. 
So it's not just, hey, let's put the onus on Shakur. Why is Shakur legacy got to be attached, attached to Tank? Okay, let's not attach it to Tank. What big fights can Eddie Hearn provide this young man where he doesn't have to do something cross-promotionally? The answer is zero. The answer is zero. Y'all want to see him fight Maxie Hughes? Y- y'all want to see him fight Mark Chamberlain? That's what y'all want to see? So the move in and of itself is just horrible. And then to the hypocritical hypocritical boxing fans out there, look yourself in the mirror because there's a lot of people, and I've been on YouTube for a while now, there were a lot of people who are Earl Spence fans, a lot of people who are boxing fans, I won't even call them Spence fans, they were asking Terrence Crawford, hey Terrence, you said you wanted Danny Garcia, you said you wanted Keith Thurman, you said you wanted all these big fights at 147 pounds, and then when you got free, sir, and you had the ability, you didn't even entertain going to where those fights were at. You re-signed to top rank. Those same people, some of you that were criticizing Terrence Crawford for that move, today you're making excuses for Shakur Stevenson, who just made the exact same move in 2024 that Terrence Bud Crawford made in 2018. Keep the same energy. Be consistent. Push for the fights. You cannot push for fights and be okay with Shakur Stevenson signing somewhere where they have absolutely positively zero fights for him. That's all I got, OG. I'll let you get back to it, man. Appreciate you letting me up. All right, man. Anytime, Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Thank you, sir. Peace. Yes, sir. We good. All right. All right, man. Just uh, giving you a howl. Damn, there you go again. Real quick while you figure it out. Mr. Chestnut said, channel support on the grind this morning for nine. Thank you, brother. I've been on the grind since 3 30 this morning. I Figured can't. Out, I ain't trying to mess up this. They, That's what I was saying. I don't know. You're good. Whatever you're doing, just say what you got to say because you're good right now. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot. I was just talking about Shakur, man. Um, and uh, Eddie Hearn, really, and that whole thing. I just feel like Eddie Hearn's energy has been telling us what this. Uh, this whole deal is about. I mean, he's been saying that he really wants to work with Jay Pretz and and Josh Dubin and Shakur and form a team for uh, Shakur with his his career going forward. Yeah, I think the Cordina fight is whack. Yeah, of course now, but Cordina been calling out uh, Shakur since one thirty when he was a champion and when he was trying to unify when uh, Shakur had the other two belts and Shakur wanted to be undisputed at 130. So he answers the call. I mean, whether it's two years, three years later, and uh, Cordina coming off a loss or whatever the situation is, he was trying to fight Cordina back then, and Bob Arum wouldn't let him because he said it didn't make sense because it wasn't going to sell. So everybody just talking about, you know, there's no reason he should be fighting Cordina, Cordina, Cordina. Nobody's even addressing the fact that Cordina been calling, been calling out Shakur, been talking bad about Shakur. And it's time to shut the boy up. Also, you are helping to, um, you know, get the relationship with Eddie Hearn going where you saying, OK, I am committed to a certain extent. Eddie Hearn has also let it be known that he doesn't have to be involved in the tank fight whatsoever he already knows he, and he said this everybody wants to come out talking about uh what eddie hearn said shakur told him to look for fights that weren't javante davis but they don't never say the part after that which was uh eddie hearn said that was smart because he could affect those negotiations because tank don't mess with eddie hearn and eddie hearn knows this eddie hearn also has said in another interview separate from that that he doesn't have to be involved in the tank fight. So Eddie Hearn being there is no reason why the tank fight cannot occur. Um, the reason why the tank fight didn't occur is because these fools didn't send out no contract. These fools uh, went to the Olympics, did their whole Olympic thing. Shakur was waiting. Then they wanted to wait and see if Pitbull was going to win or Pitbull was going to lose. Shakur was waiting. Everybody in the world knew Shakur had a, a purse bid coming on August the 20th. Why would Shakur sit there and wait and not do nothing and set up his business before August the 20th? Uh, So just in case, because you can't rely on Tank. So just in case Tank didn't come through like he didn't, you would have an alternate uh, path to go through. That path at first was Zapata. Zapata, you know, uh, having a baby. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying Zapata duck, Zapata duck. 
It's a painted duck. But at the same time, I understand his wife is having a baby. He wants to be involved in that. He wants to be available for that. So he don't want to fight till February. Shakur already made it state, you know, stated before that happened that he wanted to fight before the end of the year. He was trying to fight in November, whether it be tank, whether it be whatever. So him still fighting in, um, you know, before the end of the year, it's fine. He got to pay Zapata step aside money and this food done backed up the date of the fight. So I don't see how you don't respect it. I mean, I don't respect, you know, the fight because we all know how it's going to go. Um, everybody's saying, you know, if he don't knock him out, then his career is over. Like, whatever, man. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Like, at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm rocking with Shakur like I always been. Um, I think Tank really let this fight get away uh, by doing whatever he's doing. When not, Nobody knows what the hell he's doing. But, um, you know, I just wish Tank would step up, make the fight happen. I understand for certain points of this being a big fight. And it not really coming that way. It looking like um, Shakur was, you know, uh, the second choice of the whole thing with Loma, you know, uh, ducking and dropping out or whatever the situation is. So I understand if they want to back up the fight so they can make it what it really should be and what it really is. But at the end of the day, I mean, these folks out here blaming Shakur and calling him a duck. And uh, that's 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 just really not what occurred. Also, man, before I go, uh, Fanon. I was trying to see if you had me ducked on this joint. I mean, uh, blocked on this joint. I don't know. I was trying to uh, send some chat uh, comments or whatever, and I wasn't getting responses from people you that usually YouTube respond. Channel. Do you have you know how to your YouTube channel? How to put your YouTube channel? How to get to your YouTube channel? Yeah, get your YouTube channel. Come back in the chat and put it in the private chat. But you got to give me the link that literally takes me to your YouTube channel. Okay, that's a fact. All right, I uh. All right, I'll see if I can figure that joint out. But uh, salute to you, man. I appreciate you for giving me your time. I know you're about to uh, close up out of here. I just wanted to uh, come up. No, we're good, man. I appreciate talking to you, B. Hayes. All right, man. I, All thought right, that man. Was a pretty good, I thought that was a solid defense of uh, Shakur Stevenson. So I'll get back with you, man. All right, no doubt. All right, peace. For sure.